is scheduled for one ball. Well, we're getting set for more competition here in Premier Championship Wrestling. Featuring a bit of a throwback thrust into a new age. You ever utilize Big Dog Style BC Steel? Oh, it is a very, very complicated fighting style. It is a very uh, complicated style way of life. It is it is uh, mixed Tai Chi, Taekwondo, uh, uh, bar fighting, and punching a guy in a stupid Santa hat right in the face. That is really oddly specific. Well, that's big dog style. I see. A lot of great fans here in their Santa hats. Some of our great fans in a Ricky Morton hoodie. What is this? Mance Warner is standing on a chair to bully our buddy Caden. Well, I believe uh, you, you, you got to give the fans somebody to look up to, do you not? And that's what he's doing right now. I'm surprised, you know, you don't have Leonard Bibbs and that girl in the front row and the girl in the back and all these people running up. And that's Mr. Warner, by the way. He actually told me earlier that you will call him Mr. Why? Why would I do that? Because. I am his boss. Do you understand this? But you should still be a gentleman. I am as gentlemanly as I can be to somebody that yells children and people in St. Louis. But Mance Warner had a heck of a fight a couple of months ago. His PCW debut, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Bev. And you know as well as I do, the Bev is one of the top strikers as making a photographer, Wayne Palmer, wash, uh, wipe off the boots of Mance Warner. Well, that's actually uh, Wayne Palmer's day job. You can see him at many street corners in and around the Cleveland area. I... Guessing he doesn't get much work on a street corner wiping off wrestling boots. <laughs> there we go. Even our audio technician, not a big fan of Mance Warner. The name says it all. Pro Wrestling's Jackass, Dale Patricks. Dale uh, made his PCW debut, came out to Belinda Carlisle's Heaven is a Place on Earth. Tell me that's not memorable. He went one-on-one -on -one with Matthew Justice, and they beat the tar out of one another for over 15 minutes. It was one of the most physical matches in PCW history, and that's where Dale feels at home. He's uh, uh, not opposed to ultra-violence, to hardcore, to death matches. This guy's got no fear. Uh, graduate of the School of Rock. You can see that shirt there of Minneapolis, Indiana, Billy Rock. But this gentleman um, throws caution to the wind in a big, big way. He will... Uh, He'll, he'll mangle himself to get some damage done on you. He'll he'll take two or three shots to get one in on you. Dale Patrick's uh, never met a fight he didn't uh, uh, gladly jump in on. And you could tell this guy's been through... He's been through some stuff in his life. He's been through some things in his career. He has uh, been through wars and come out better from it. And there you see Patrick's out of nowhere with a pump kick to Mance Warner... The young Bucks, North Tennessee native. And these guys are wasting no time with each other. And they did the dragon sleep already. This could be it. Well, these two aren't uh, waiting to feel each other out. Ouch. Well, you said heaven is a place on earth. I think it's... Can we swear on this, Joe? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it. It's going to be heck in that ring for sure. Good grief. Oh, we got some Charlie Bound references uh, going here. Well, Patrick dives it. Oh, Mance. 
I believe Mance had moved that chair he was standing on before the match right in the trajectory of Dale Patrick's. And there you see that chair was bent thanks to the anatomy of Dale Patrick's coming down on it. Well, D Dale Patrick's did say that he is, uh, as his moniker uh, would uh, indicate, that he is the jackass. Is that correct? The jackass of professional wrestling. That's what he says. Yeah. Well, he's going to certainly feel like a jackass after uh, landing hard there. You know, he looks kind of dirty. Maybe he could be pig pen if we're going to make our Charlie Brown references. Because when I hear you all here, it's wah, 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 wah. Mance Warner in trouble now, trying to get away from the striking game of Patrick's. Ouch. Joe, that's one of the things that makes me glad that we are in the soundproof studio booth right here watching the action, and they are out there. Patrick's, uh, I'll give Patrick's a advantage when it comes to striking and probably pain threshold as well, but Mance Warner, he's like that just old, rough and rugged territorial type grappler. He'll just mix it up with you, get in your face, and doesn't care how ugly and dirty it gets. He just, he wants to fight himself. That's why this matchup's so intriguing. Patrick's with a cover for two. You know, I know a guy that used to look for women like that. Don't care how ugly and dirty they are, he just goes right in for it. And it takes a real man to do that. Let me tell you, it takes a real man to stand up to the jackass of professional wrestling as well. I didn't know you met Jock Sampson. Now, you know what? I'm going to, well, I can't text him, but but I, when I see him in person, I could write him a letter that he would get and be very upset with you. I strongly worried. No, I mean, Jock are cool. But I'll tell you what, Dale Patrick's and Mance Warner aren't cool right now. Mance gets the foot up and... Man, Patrick's ran right into uh, some of that freshly cleansed boot leather. Well, hopefully Wayne Palmer did a good job. Well, just ask Dale Patrick's, I guess. I could ask Mance Warner. I mean, the, the boots from uh, from our vantage point do look a little bit shinier than uh, from the beginning. I'll tell you, these two guys, one thing I will say, Warner and Patrick's, they're, they're willing to fight. They're willing to throw fists. fists. <laughs> okay, there's a cover there. Two count as BC still channels the American Dream Dusty Roads. Well, you know, we could get some plunder and uh, hopefully not a bicycle. Well, we got some clubbering here, PCW. That's full fistus is coming down on you. As Mance Warner now, modified chin lock. I feel like Mance Warner and Tracy Smothers would get along. Hey, man, it's it's it, when they're out there, it's like Vietnam. The divorce rate goes up when the shirts come off. Know what I'm saying? Man, we are just running the gambit of every... Uh, impression that we can get here. Uh, if you'd like to see Joe Dabrowski and I do other impressions or hear us do other impressions, you can find us on Twitter where you can tag Joe Dabrowski. Yes, you can tag me. I don't really do impressions on Twitter. It's difficult to do while typing, but be that as it may. Patrick's now with an elbow. Able to break the grip of Mance Warner. And Warner with a roaring elbow style there. Warner smile on his face. Feeling pretty good about himself. And now the third bicycle kick of the matchup by Dale Patrick's. These two men made an indelible mark in the uh, PCW fans with how hard they took it to. Oh, look at this. Patrick's counter what looked to be a backbreaker or a choke slam. Half and half suplex. Full Nelson now. Caught him over. Dragon suplex style. Nicely done. Good grief. This could do it. No. But uh, these fans know Bobby Beverly and Matthew Justice very well for the past decade. Watch them grow up. Watch them. Uh, and some very, very physical war. So for these guys to come in and basically not be known at all in this area and push both of those gentlemen to their limit their first night, that earned respect right away. And then it got them both invited back to slug it out amongst themselves. Interesting to see here uh, who comes out on top as right now Mance Warner has Dale Patrick's in a very precarious predicament. Oh, God. Well, per That's <laughs> Nigel McGinnis's Tower of London. I I'm sure. I'm sure it's not the Tower of Bucksnort, but either way, it was nearly a count of three. Patrick's. I'm not sure if that was luck or instinct to have his foot uh, wind up in the ropes like that. Well, that was luck. You can call it instinct. You can call it uh, just taking the easy way out uh, by using the ropes for your advantage there. And Mance Warner, Warner, none too happy about that. Again, John with the people. And, you know, there's time to jaw with the people. There's time to do it after. I think he has the advantage right now, and he's really got to stay on Patrick's. It reminds me of, of you see, great sporting Ooh. match. Oh, jeez, another drop of that. Mance Warner may be the worst for wear. 
cover. Deep hook. Uh, slingshot. And I'm not sure if that was a suplex or a brain buster. Well, it, it hurt the cranium of Mance Warner, that's for sure. You know, this reminds me of a great sports match where you see two guys going back and forth uh, or, or two teams going back and forth. One scores, the other scores. Things stay even, and, and one team is really, or in this case, one individual, is really looking to get an advantage, uh, an opportunity, uh, a way to turn momentum into their favor. Jeez. You know, why don't you and I throw uh, forearms like that? Ouch. Because then he wouldn't have anything left for the super kick. Dale Patrick's has Warner out on his feet and, and then some as Warner collapses in a and a heap to the canvas, and now to the floor. Notice Warner's back hits very hard off the edge of that ring frame on the on the way down as well. Yeah, these guys are not disappointed. They're picking up right where they left off in their respective battles a couple of months ago. And Patrick's now for the ride, and suicide dive lands on his feet, and uh, that thick frame collides with Warner on the way down, who is sandwiched between Patrick's and the guardrail. And, you know, there's really there's really nowhere to go. Oh, jeez. Well, I was going to say there's nowhere to go when you hit that steel, but there's nowhere to go when you get a head smacked off of your head. And then the guardrail. Keep in mind, Patrick's is not afraid to bleed. He was lacerated in that matchup with Justice, bleeding from his forehead heavily. But did not, uh, did not flinch, did not miss a beat as now Warner and Patrick's. And referee being very lenient here. He's on the outside with them rather than counting. But, man... You can see these these men rock when they collide with each other in headbutts. Oh no! Oh God! That's the that's the steel chair that Warner had set up that Patrick's had collided onto earlier, and now Warner got dropped back of the head first onto it. What did Warner do to deserve that from Patrick's? You know what he did? He kept getting up. That's exactly what he did, and this could do it. Two and no. Yeah, there's a there was a professional wrestler known to the Cleveland and uh, Pittsburgh area that used to tell people to stay down. Uh, Corey Graves to you and me, uh, Sterling James Keenan to local independent wrestling fans. That's what one of these two need to do is to stay down because if not, they're going to have a shortened career. Now, now Warner tried to uh, maybe maneuver the official into the ropes. The distraction paid off though, as Patrick's was uh, too concerned with what Warner was doing, and Warner was able to slip in and maybe counter with, uh, could this be a, a belly to belly? But way up high! Well, I thought the, the I thought he was going to collapse the ring on that landing. That was not, not good for Patrick's. And I think the only man that might survive this at this point is uh, referee Tom Dunn. Warner the worst for wear as well with what's been taken out of him in this contest. We could see a double count out at this point. Well, for the careers of both men, that might be the best. We haven't seen Patrick's move at all. And Warner should just, to use another football reference, just line up like he's going to kick the field goal and just boot his teeth. Just boot him all the way to Columbus. Warner to his feet first, but, man, he is uh, he is weebling and wobbling as Patrick's gets to his feet as well. Connects with a foot. Look at this. The cradle pile driver? Patrick's out of nowhere, has Warner covered, and that'll do it. Dale, Dale Patrick's is victorious, and what a physical wild brawl. It was unconventional. It was uh, not something like you see very often here in PCW or much of anywhere, but those guys did not quit. They went uh, full force for... God, the better part of 10 or 15 minutes. And in the end, Dale Patrick's, hey, jackass or not, he proved his toughness. He proved his pain threshold, his staying power. He's the one that weathered the storm. Well, he proved to be the, the winner on this occasion. I'll tell you, I've seen bar fights that haven't been that violent. For hats off to both men. You know, I think my money was on Warner, though. Hmm. Your money? What? I, I meant... Uh, my cheers and support. Uh, there's a lot more to come from both these athletes. Gotta believe you're in PCW as uh, Del Patrick blows a kiss to all of his admirers here in Premier Championship Wrestling.